Hello boys and girls and welcome to Key's Playhouse. As it's Halloween, I'm going to be reading you a spooky story. Today's spooky story is called Little Monsters by David Walliams. Are you ready? Once upon a time, there was a little werewolf with a big problem. His voice was really, really squeaky. Woohoo! Whenever there was a full moon, Howler howled so high. Woohoo! That all the other werewolves howled with laughter. Ha 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 ha! Howler hated feeling like the odd one out. So Papa Werewolf and Mama Werewolf sent their son off to monster school where he could learn how to be frightening. But Howler found the school frightening. He wasn't sure who to be more afraid of. The teachers or the pupils. Howler took a seat at the back of the classroom. Suddenly, his teacher washed in on her broomstick, smashing the skeleton to pieces as she did so. The first lesson of the day, announced Miss Spout is how to pull a scary face. Show me your scariest one. The vampire flashed his fangs. The ghost grinned a goalish grin. The skeleton showed a sinister smile. All eyes turned to Howler. You, snarled Miss Spell pointing at her new pupil. Ye yes, miss. Show me your scariest face now. The little werewolf did his best. He bowled out his eyes, waggled his ears and stuck out his tongue. <laughs> Instead of looking scary, he looked like he was blowing off. All the other little monsters hooted with laughter. <laughs> ha ha ha! You couldn't even scare a fly, mocked the teacher. The teacher. The second lesson of the day is spooking, announced Miss Spell in the school hall. The witch ordered the mummy to stand still with his back turned. One by one, the little monsters did their best to creep up on him. The vampire flew, the ghost floated, the skeleton rattled. Finally, it was Howler's turn. The little werewolf was so nervous, he tripped up over his tail. Trip, he tumbled over and over again, landed by the skeleton's feet. Thud. Ha, 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 you couldn't scare a flea, snorted Spell. Next, the teacher led the little monsters down steep stone steps. The final lesson of the day is gruesome growls, she said, her voice echoing around the dark dungeon. Oh no, thought the little werewolf with the squeaky's voice. My worst nightmare. Hiss, went the vampire. Woo-hoo, went the ghost. Snarl, went the skeleton. Howler, 
bark the teacher. Your turn. But, but, now, demanded the witch. Tumbling with fear, Howler howled higher than ever. Howler, bold Miss Spall, you couldn't scare a nit. You're a disgrace to Monster School. To the headmaster's office at once. Howler, you will never ever be a monster, boomed Mr. Olga. Please, 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 sir. You are expelled from Monster School. A tear welled in Howler's eye. Sulking back home to the forest, the werewolf spotted another group of little monsters going door to door and saying, trick or treat, trick or treat. These monsters were different. As he drew closer, Howler saw that they were little humans dressed up as monsters. It was Halloween. Wow, cool werewolf costume, said an alien on spotting him. Are you on your own? asked the spider. Howler nodded sheepishly. None of the kids realised Howler was a real life werewolf. Come and join us, said a shark. Thanks, exclaimed Howler, smiling for the first time in ages. You look so scary, you can go at the front, said the alien. Howler wasn't so sure, he gulped before he knocked on the first door. Sure, he couldn't even scare a nit. Knock, knock. But before the werewolf could even say trick or treat, the man at the door screamed, ah! He threw a hail of sweets at the little monsters. The kids caught them and were over the moon. They had never had so many treats. With Howler leading the pack, the same thing happened at house after house. How? No! Yikes! Soon more and more little monsters from all over town joined in the fun. As no one dared to say trick to the little werewolf, there were treats for everyone. Now, it was late and they'd knocked on all the doors. The little monsters were stuffed full of sweets and ready to head home to bed. But there was still one more person Howler was determined to scare. Can you guess who? Just one more. Follow me, he said. Soon they had reached Monster School. When I hold up my paw, I want you all to do your loudest howl, announced Howler. All the kids grinned from ear to ear. This was going to be fun. Shh, hissed Howler as they crept into the classroom where Miss Spell was busy marking homework. Howler raised his paw and he led them all in the loudest howl. Woo! Ah! Screamed the teacher, shooting out of her chair. Whoosh! She bounced off the ceiling, boing. She bounced off the walls, boing, boing. She bounced off the floor, boing. Before bouncing right into the headmaster who had appeared at the door. 
swallow. What is the meaning of this? Thundered Mr. Olga as the little monsters helped him up. It looks like I can scare after all, sir, howled Howler. The headmaster looked down at the crumpled witch by his feet. Miss Spout was out cold. Howler, I was wrong. You are scary. May I welcome you back to monster school? The little werewolf looked round at the kids in costumes. No thanks. I'm going to stick with my new friends. And the little monsters broke out into a howl of happiness. Woohoo! What about Papa Werewolf and Mama Werewolf? They couldn't have been happier that their son was happy just being himself. Howler did go to school with his new friends. So when you are at school, have a look around your classroom. Sitting at the back, there might just be a little monster. It's cool to be the odd one out. Aww, wasn't that a lovely book? So, boys and girls, I've hoped you've enjoyed that book. Happy Halloween. I'll see you next week. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.